One of the hottest tools coming to content creators in 2023 is undoubtedly NVIDIA's Maxine. How many times have you struggled to maintain eye contact with the camera or had to record the same shot over and over and over again because you can't seem to get the words right? Well, with NVIDIA's new AI tool, Maxine, that's no longer the case. Combining AI and augmented reality for video communication, users can now read a script without anyone knowing. In fact, I've been reading a script this whole time and I bet you didn't know. So how do I get this magical application? Well, the app itself is still in beta format and while it's accessible and free for everyone, I wouldn't exactly call it easily accessible. But hey, that's what you've got me for. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up the appropriate files, how to run the application to record on OBS, as well as Google and Zoom meetings, and how to upload a pre-existing video file to retroactively fix your gaze problems. So let's get started. Real quick, just a note, as we're going through these steps, please note that all required links and any source code that you need will be in the description below. So to start, we're going to download two zip files. The first one you can find in NVIDIA's GitHub repository. The link is in the description below. Once you arrive at the site, you'll want to scroll down until you find the source code zip file. Go ahead and click to download. Now, while that's downloading, I personally like to have things well organized. So I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop and we're gonna go ahead and label it Gaze. And it's here that I'm going to unzip all needed files. It's important that you have all the documents in the right place. So I highly suggest not missing this step. Now that the source code file is in your downloads, go ahead and unzip it. And we're going to direct it to the new folder that you just created. Next, we're going to follow the next link in the description. This one is labeled Maxine AR SDK. Now this is located in NVIDIA's catalogs. If you do not already have an account, you're going to have to sign up for one real quick. It doesn't cost you a thing and you don't need any specific qualifications, but this is a necessary step. Once you've gained access to the site, the link in the description below will take you to the Maxine Windows AR SDK file browser page. You can either click the file name to download or choose browser direct download in the upper right hand corner of the page. Once that file is downloaded, we are going to unzip it into the same file as the source code. Now your folders should look something like this. All we're going to do now is move this bin folder right here and drop it into our Maxine AR SDK folder. As you can see, it's in the same location as this readme.md. This right here is a good sign that you're on the right step. From the Maxine AR SDK folder, we're going to go ahead and click on samples and then click on gaze redirect. It's in this file that you'll see all relevant files and applications for the gaze redirect app. Now I'm going to show you two different methods of using the gaze redirect. The first method is redirecting your gaze in a live feed. And the other is redirecting a gaze in a pre-recorded video. If you're interested in the second method, please feel free to jump to that section in the chapter links below. Now to redirect your gaze in a live feed, the first thing we're going to do is click on this run folder. For those who have the file extension visible, it might say run.bat. Click on that and create a copy of the file. We're gonna go ahead and rename this copied version as run underscore live. Next, you're going to want to click on it again and choose to edit it in a text file. Once in the editor, go ahead and delete everything that is there. Then you'll want to copy the code that's in the description below exactly as it is and paste it into the file. Don't forget to hit save. The only part you might want to change in the future is this little section here where it says split screen view. If this equals false, then when you open the app, you'll only have the window that is showing your redirected eyes like this. However, if you change it to true, 
then you'll be able to see the before and after images like this. In this situation, choose what's right for you in the moment. Now, we've saved this new code and we're going to go ahead and close the editor. With the recently released 8.2 version of Maxine, there are two ways that you can run this program. You, you can either click on it, give it a few seconds and the program will run, or if you're having trouble, we can go ahead and click on the bar up here in our folder, type CMD, and this will open the command line prompt. Once it's open, you can simply type the file name, in our case, run underscore live dot bat. Go ahead and hit enter. And there you have it. To record your newly redirected eyes, we're going to start with OBS. So we're going to open OBS and down here in the section, we're going to add a new source. Go ahead and choose Window Capture, and then choose the Gaze Redirect app. If you'd like to use this in a Google or a Zoom meeting, because hey, eye contact can be scary as hell, and maybe you have work to do when you're required to be in a meeting that really could have been an email. Either way, in Google, go to the settings. Under the video section, choose OBS Virtual Camera as the source. And if you set up the redirect like we just did in OBS, you're good to go. Similarly, in Zoom meetings, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna to go to settings, you're gonna choose video and choose OBS virtual camera as your source. One quick note before we head to the pre-recorded method. I personally use an Elgato webcam when recording my videos. And whenever I run the program, I always come up with this message. As of this recording, I have not found a workaround for Elgato cameras. If you are an Elgato user and have found a solution, or if it works for you, please share in the comments below so others know. Otherwise, feel free to keep an eye on this video and I'll update everyone as soon as I've discovered a solution. Now, for those who are interested, I'm going to show you how to reorient your gaze in a pre-recorded video. First, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're in your samples gaze redirect folder. We're gonna to wanna to click on this run folder. And for those who have the file extension visible, it might say run.bat. Click on that and create a copy of the file. Go ahead and rename this copy as run underscore recorded. Next, you're going to want to click on it again and choose to edit it. Once in the editor, go ahead and delete everything that is there. These three lines, we don't need them. Then you'll want to copy the code exactly as you see it in the description below. Don't forget to hit save. Now that right there is the base setup. Whenever you're ready to alter a video to utilize the gaze redirect feature, start by placing the pre-recorded video file into the gaze redirect folder like so. We're going to go ahead and copy the file name exactly as it is, including the file type. Now we're going to reopen our run underscore recorded file in editor once more. And here where it says dash dash in equals, we're going to paste the file name with the file extension right there. You want to make sure, like I have it here, that there are no spaces before the equal sign or after the file name. Once again, don't forget to hit that save button. Now with the recently released 8.2 version, there are two ways that you can run this program. You can either just click on it and give it a few seconds and it should pop up. Or if you're having trouble, you can click on this folder link, type CMD, and this will open the command line prompt. Once the command line prompt is open, you can simply type the file name. In our case, run underscore recorded dot bat. Once I go ahead and hit enter. If it's a particularly long video file, it might take a while to run. But once it's finished, the window with the program will automatically close and you'll see a new file pop up in your gaze redirect folder. It will have the same name as the original file, but the end will be amended to underscore gaze. If we open up my original 20 second clip, we can see that my eyes are clearly not looking at the camera. Whereas now, if we open up our new underscore gaze file, you can see that it's been fixed. A quick note that this program is far from perfect. Obviously, if we move our head too much, if we look, if we move our hand in front of our eyes, you kind of get some weird results. So now, one thing you might notice is, hey, Artemis, there's no sound in this file. And that is an unfortunate byproduct of using this program on pre-recorded videos in the beta. However, an easy way to fix this is when you're video editing. Simply use the original file as your sound and the newly directed gaze video file as your video. 
Thanks for joining me today, and I hope that you found this video helpful. Till next time, I'll see you on the flip side.